Guys, we are here, uh, day two in the Lake Mead Recreation Area, National Park Area. Um, so, a couple really positive things about coming out here in May. Number one, it was really warm at night, so I got, you know, you can hang outside until like 10, 10.30, 11 o'clock. It's still warm outside at that time, so that's really cool. Um, and uh, I didn't have to use any blankets, which is really interesting. Um, and another great thing is that the sun is up at five something, so you don't need any alarm clocks. They have these really loud birds um, that wake you up in a good way, in a pleasant way, because the sun is already rising, even though it's only like 5.30, 5.15, 5.15, 5.30. So I was up early, it's about 6.45 right now. Um, I picked my hike for today, which is a hike called Lone Palm. It goes down into a wash. Not too long, not too crazy, because it does get hot really fast out here. So you want to get up early and beat the heat. Um, pretty sure it's somewhere down there or somewhere I'm going to get out my map and figure this out. Take you guys on this little journey here. It's got a really nice view of the lake and the river and stuff like that. So um, I'm going to do this hike real quick. I'm going to figure out where I'm going to do my run and get some other stuff in today. But um, yeah, I'm going to get going here. So um, I'm excited to see how this goes. One of my favorite things about this hike is the variety of different terrain that you can climb up, hop off of, and different things like that. This trail involves a lot of climbing up and down, sliding down things and different things like that. So if you're not extremely coordinated and in good shape, I don't recommend this hike. It's well worth it though, and honestly, I think it keeps the journey exciting. So you guys gotta be careful out here. Fucking rattlesnake scare me. <laughs> so the major aspects that I wanna point out about this hike are the following. The terrain, the difficulty, and the considerations you need to take in regards to the weather. The landscape is beautiful. You're walking through a majestic canyon, walking through massive washes, and you'll even get a chance to see a bighorn sheep or two. One of the things that I have mentioned earlier was that you need to be aware of the weather. It can get extremely hot. I got on this trail around 7 a.m. and I was out of here around 12, 30, 1 o'clock at the very latest. Um, I would not do this hike if you're gonna do it anytime after 12 noon. It can be dangerous. If you find yourself out on the trail after 12 noon, definitely stay at the spring. Hopefully you have some water and some snacks and chill out until it cools down because it can get extremely hot in this valley. As you make your way towards the end of the trail, you'll definitely start to see more green and the fresh air is gonna hit you. You'll know when you're getting close to the spring. It's an exciting feeling. This is one of the reasons why I'm so passionate about hiking. The action of uncovering something hidden and special like this hot spring never gets old. As you make your way through the valley and the water gets deeper and deeper, you have an undeniable feeling that the journey is definitely going to be well worth it. And in spectacular fashion, you arrive at the hot spring. The first pool area of the spring is definitely hot. It's like a hot tub, no joke. I kept my boots on and I could feel the heat through my boots. Holy shit. This water is really warm. <laughs> I just decided to keep my boots on because these rocks can be sharp and I want to hike down further so this is definitely a hot spring that's for sure.
definitely a hot spring. I hear a waterfall or something. Wow, look at this. <laughs> look at this. This is so cool. Like your own private little resort. So cool. Totally worth it. 100% worth it. And then it flows out to the river out there. All right, you guys, I am here. Totally worth it. Totally, totally, totally worth it. Um, unbelievable vibes. The fresh air is insane. The hot spring just looks unbelievable. Look at this. And there's a waterfall leading down to the river, the massive river there. There's also another hot spring further up that's really, really warm, but I would definitely recommend this one. Um, this is just the ultimate like date hiking spot. Like if you have someone special and you want to take them on a really cool hike this is it i would high i highly recommend this um the whole trip is very adventurous you need to know what you're doing you need to be in great shape um you need to be in great shape um you need to be very aware of your footing you can get your you can get hurt out here and you're out here in the middle of the canyon by yourself um this is not a very popular trail and what's awesome about this is if any of you guys are staying out here in Lake Mead, you're gonna see, there's another hot spring that a lot of people go to that um, that's very popular. And this one isn't so popular. This is like your own private little spot. So um, highly, highly, highly recommend this. This is just, just check out the vibes here. Like enough of me, just get, this is, it's just so beautiful and so peaceful down here. If I would do it, say if this was like a date hike for me, I'd probably have someone drop us off and then, you know, we bring all of our gear, bring something to sleep, sleeping bags, like some kind of light, um, you know, like a bottle of wine, some food for dinner, breakfast, um, and maybe, you know, sleep out down here, camp out down here, just in some sleeping bags, very light, obviously make sure you don't leave any trace. This is a very pristine and special area. Um, and you know, you guys can soak in the evening and in the morning and do your thing, you know, whatever. <laughs> you want to do down here. I know what I would do down here, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, totally worth it. I'm going to get some drone footage for you guys so you guys can catch the views of this spot in detail. Um, definitely follow my, um, my map. I put a lot of waypoints in certain areas because you can definitely get lost. So um, I tried to make it as easy as possible. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get some drone footage and soak in this pool for maybe about 30 minutes and head back because it's going to get extremely hot today. I did. I started this hike officially around 7 a.m. I would not recommend starting this hike any later than around, I'd say, 930, 10 at the very latest. But um, but yeah, I'm going to get some drone footage for you guys and then jump in this hot spring. So see how this goes. definitely took my time at the spring. The temperature is perfect and the density allows you to completely relax and let everything go. And that was it. I decided to head back before it got too late and too hot to comfortably hike back to my car. A few things I want to again emphasize about this hike. Bring a map that's already downloaded on your phone or whatever device you hike with. You need to be able to find your way around here. 
make sure to check out my Gaia GPS map that's linked in the description below. It's going to be essential for you to find this spring. Trust me when I say you'll be checking your phone quite a bit. I would not recommend that anyone starts this hike after 11 a.m. if you are hiking in the summer. It can get very hot and dangerous out here if you're not careful. As I stated before, you need to be in excellent shape and have excellent coordination to make it to this hot spring. It took me about an hour to an hour and a half to get out of the canyon and make it to my car. I drank all of my water and I was definitely happy to arrive when I did. No question about it, this hike was definitely worth it. And believe it or not, it actually made it into my top 10. So if you're in the Lake Mead area or near Las Vegas and looking for an epic day hike, this is it. Oh, and one more thing, if you're looking for direction to this hike, you can find this hike on all trails, but it is not the correct hike. You need to be in the Lake Mead area, look for the Lone Palm hike, but do not follow that map. Simply use that map to find a driving directions to the initial starting point of the hike. You need to read the comments, read the descriptions. There's a lot of issues with that trail map. So follow that at your own risk. You can follow that and find it if you're smart and you read everything. But if you're looking for driving directions to this hike, go on all trails and look up the Lone Palm hike near Lake Mead and you'll find it. I wanna thank you guys for watching this video. Um, please like, share, subscribe. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me. My map is linked in the description and I will catch you guys on my next adventure.